Mankind has braved mountains and trenches in the harshest of forest and desert conditions. We are experts at living off the land and adjusting to our environment. But there's a difference between embracing nature and taking in wildlife as domestic pets. Exotic animals, in general, cause quite the stir, and attempting to keep them as pets is never a good idea. Some of them endanger human lives. Others simply can't survive in a home environment. Even when raised in a home from a young age, they retain their wild instincts, making them wildly unpredictable and challenging to manage. <laughs> Welcome back to Forever Green, where today we're going to look at 15 most dangerous pets you should be careful with. Let's dive in. Number 15. Wolf Dog Mixes as enticing as they may be to keep as pets, you might only hear about them being kept as pets after some kind of tragedy struck the family. Owners are attacked, or in some cases, killed, and the wolves get a bad rep for it. The USDA estimates 300 to 500,000 wolf dogs being kept as pets in America. The most common hybrid is gray wolves crossed with Alaskan Malamutes or Siberian Huskies. Dogs and wolves do share an evolutionary past, and therefore, some physical and behavioral traits. But wolves are inherently wild animals, shaped by evolutionary pressures of providing for the pack, producing offspring, and competing to be the alpha. As you might have guessed, this competitive spirit isn't limited to wolves. It is towards anybody who presents as a leader that is keeping the wolf in captivity. Ooh. Ooh. This can and has led to aggression and some severe wounds and in some cases, death. Number 14. Crocodile Monitor Not exactly your average house pet, but definitely a favorite of enthusiasts and collectors. While it might sound harmless, owning a monitor is not really the same as owning a gecko or a bearded dragon. They can grow 8 to 12 feet, even in captivity and they require large cages that most owners won't provide. And that's not even considering their bad temper. A single bite from them can result in amputations and deep tissue wounds because of their uniquely serrated teeth and strong jaws. And even if they don't get a clean bite through your finger, rest assured their saliva will do the rest of the job. It is populated with all kinds of bacteria that can cause infections and put you in shock. Even if you are an experienced hobbyist and collector, you're going to want to mentally, physically, and financially prepare yourself for a croc monitor. Number 13. Old World Monkeys Native to Africa and Asia, these monkeys can be found in environments ranging from tropical rainforests to mountain regions. Many of them are located in Europe too, but it's unknown whether they are native to the continent or were brought by humans. They are adorable and sometimes act like human babies, and we don't blame you if you want to spend your whole day just cuddling them. But it's not all fun and games. All large monkeys have canines that can inflict serious injury, and they're pretty unpredictable, throwing tantrums out of nowhere. Obviously, the severity of the damage they cause depends on the monkey's size, with small marmosets not capable of inflicting large wounds. But. Old world monkeys also carry some diseases that could be a serious threat to humans. They have a high likeliness for carrying the herpes B virus, which has a 70 to 80% mortality rate in humans. Old world monkeys are also quite vulnerable to tuberculosis, and you'll have to conduct frequent tests to keep them safe. Once again, this is a responsibility you have to prepare for, both physically and financially. Number 12. Owls It may have looked like fun in Harry Potter, but it's completely illegal to keep them as pets in the United States. Even if a few private owners take the chance, it takes an incredible amount of care to keep an owl, given its nocturnal noise and its tendency to destroy things in a confined home. Even most veterinarians don't have adequate training to handle and care for owls. These guys are predators through and through, using their beaks and sharp talons to tear into their prey and attack threats, even if that includes humans and human children. If an owl doesn't like what you're doing, which is usually petting or cuddling, 
then they will absolutely let you know, and you might wind up bleeding as a result. And if you're not prepared to keep rats, gophers, mice, and rabbits in your freezer to thaw out later, and dice up for your adorable fluffy pet, then maybe rethink wanting an owl. Number 11. Kinkajou They are the lesser known distant cousins of lemurs, so we don't blame you if you've never heard of them. Kinkajous are rainforest mammals native to Central and South America. They reach only about 7 pounds in weight and make adorable little pets. But they have incredibly sharp teeth and high energy levels, and on top of that, they are nocturnal creatures, and you better not try to wake them during the day. They emit a high-pitched scream and attack by clawing and biting their owners, and even at night, they can be pretty aggressive. But it's not just about the danger to humans. Keeping a kinkajou captive isn't good for the kinkajou either. Replicating their forest environment is not easy, and unknown surroundings can increase their risk of disease and ruin their quality of life. But even if you manage to fix that problem, they have quite a long lifespan. So this is a commitment you have to keep for the next 20 years. Are you up to it? Number 10. Large Cats Kind of a no-brainer here. Here's a scary statistic. <laughs> More tigers are in private hands in America today than out in the wild. But that doesn't mean doing this is a good idea. Big cats typically grow 8 to 12 feet in length and can weigh up to 600 pounds with 4-inch long claws. Not exactly something you want roaming around in your backyard. You're basically asking to get eaten at some point. <laughs> Though their cubs are undoubtedly cute and cuddly, they are still wild animals that grow up to behave unpredictably and sometimes dangerously. In fact, keeping any large cats, lions, cougars, and leopards is a serious risk. Not only can they hurt people, but being held in captivity is bad for their health. A confined space does not give them the exercise they need, and it dulls them. Almost all individual owners lack resources for the proper housing, feeding, and medical care, and many are shocked by the high price tag associated with their care. Tigers are listed as an endangered species on the IUCN Red List, with the global population standing at only around 3,948 mature individuals. They have declined primarily due to habitat destruction and poaching. So, maybe we'll leave this one be. Before we move on, here's a quick challenge for you. If you can leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and turn on the notifications in less than 5 seconds, you will have 10 years of amazing luck. Hurry up and try it. It actually works. Number 9. Venomous Snakes Yeah, you're probably thinking, who is keeping those, except for zoos? Well, a surprising number of private collections feature large, exotic, and sometimes beautiful snakes. But even the least deadly venomous snake, the copperhead, can cause serious injuries with a single bite. Unfortunately, access to buying these snakes is unrestricted, which means many inexperienced individuals can get their hands on these animals that require a lot of care and effort. Eventually, when they cannot handle the snake, they either give it away to a shelter or let it loose in the wild, where it disrupts the area's ecosystem and causes the local wildlife harm. So, unless you are highly experienced and know what you're doing, maybe stick with a less threatening version of these guys. Number 8. Bears Yes. They are extremely cuddly and intelligent animals, and they remind us of teddy bears. But they also weigh over 1,500 pounds and have claws 2 to 4 inches long. And while their cubs are adorable too, they don't stay small for long. In a matter of a few years, they'll be towering over you and would be able to knock you over, and that's the best case scenario. Bears are omnivores and opportunistic by nature. They have impressive strength and a taste for meat like a big cat. They also sometimes approach humans by breaking into their homes. 
and on the off chance that your pet bear manages to escape. It poses a threat to your neighbors too. The bear species most commonly kept as pets are black bears, and this species is also responsible for the most fatal attacks on humans, both wild and captive. Number 7. Cody The Cody is a member of the raccoon family, native to South America. They are only between 13 and 27 inches long, but you're going to need a pretty big enclosure for them to roam about in. These omnivores can be extremely active and difficult to train. They require constant mental stimulation too, so you can consider this a full-time job. They combine the personalities of a raccoon, a dog, and a monkey, all in one. They can make for good pets, but not for those who expect it will be like keeping a dog or a cat. Some say having a Cody is like having a two-year-old baby that never grows up. Prepare to have your most beloved possessions torn apart and expect a few nasty bites if you try to tame or train this little guy. Number 6. Bats In the US and some other parts of the world, it's illegal to keep bats as pets. And with good reason, they carry rabies and SARS, they have sharp teeth, and they fly around all night. That's not to say they aren't cute. Bats are definitely adorable, and they are capable of affection and empathy. They have pretty sophisticated brains. All that said though, leaving them in the wild is best. They need to fly, and while they could adapt to humans, it's not good for them in the long run. They are not actually domesticated animals, so they don't have the temper of a house cat or a pet dog. They can bite when upset or excited. If they do so, they should be either quarantined or exterminated, which wouldn't be pleasant for you as the owner or for them. But if you still want one, know that their requirements are met easier in the wild, and you might have a tough time fulfilling them. Bats can live over 30 years and hibernate for months in colder climates. Their diet consists of insects, fruit, and blood at night, which is difficult to provide if they are in captivity. Number 5. Foxes With the exception of maybe the fennec fox, most foxes are not easy to keep in the house. Red foxes could be tamed, but never fully trusted. And you can be sure they will bite at the tiniest hint of a threat. They can also be pretty destructive, and they're naturally curious, so they chew and dig around a lot. And if you think that's bad, well, it gets worse. Foxes also have a musky odor that is nearly intolerable, and you'll soon find it everywhere because they tend to scent mark all over what they might consider their territory. Number 4. Chimpanzees Chimps have pretty complex cognition compared to most other animals on this list, which sounds great. But it also means you can't figure out what's going on in their minds and how they'll react. If they manage to escape, it's hard to guess how they'd respond to a stranger on the street, which poses a real threat to those who are not trained to handle these apes. They attack by biting off body parts, noses, and fingers. And they will often play with people while not allowing them to leave. So, while all the victims have survived, the damage was extensive. Number 3. Constrictor Snakes Different from venomous snakes, these guys don't have a poison that can kill you. But they have another tactic that can prove fatal. The problem with keeping a giant snake is that they are excellent escape artists. Should a large snake find a way out of their enclosure and into the space of its owner that didn't take good care of them? They wrap themselves around the victim so tightly, they induce a heart attack. Again, not exactly ideal. It is now time to check out today's subscriber pick. Remember, if you ever come across some bizarre or fascinating image, you can send it to us and we'll investigate. Today's picture is of a young girl and quite a big dog. It seems she got some severe wounds on her face too. Thanks for sending this in, 
we did a little digging, and here's what we found. Check out our number two spot, German Shepherd. These dogs usually make for excellent pets if raised well. If poorly raised, they can be high strung, nervous, and badly behaved. We don't know if that was the case here, but when 17-year-old Lara Sanson was taking photos with her friend's dog, the dog whipped around and bit her face. She ended up with 40 stitches on her face. These dogs are known to be extremely wary of strangers, and they're good guard dogs for the same reason. But if you're planning on having friends over, you might want to get the dog used to them before you start snapping pictures. Number 1. Turtles Didn't see that coming, did you? You're probably wondering, what's wrong with turtles? Well, though these slow-moving creatures seem like they'd be easy to care for, many of them have salmonella, which is particularly dangerous to young children, the elderly, and anyone with a compromised immune system. They carry the germs in their droppings, and they can quickly spread to their tank water and habitats. You could get sick by touching a turtle or anything in the place they live. While it's not the absolute worst disease to get from an animal, given how incredibly popular turtles are as pets, it's an all too common danger. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and check out more videos on nature and animals on the Forever Green channel. We'll be back soon with another video. But until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.